Okay, she's finally awake. Okay, so let's go talk to Granny. Uh, I guess this. Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And you're, you're sure it had the right number of uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Uh, you'll need this to get started. Okay, so we have been boarded with cream of mushroom soup. Yum. Not really. Okay, so we need we need to chop up some logs around the farm. We actually have already started to do that. Um, so let's come Don't out here. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. That's actually what we're going to do. <laughs> about to do. Um, yep. That's what we actually were about to do. Okay. Oh, hi. Let's talk to you. It's me, Parker, again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself ten years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. Okay, let's go follow him real quick, and then we'll come back and we will we will uh, do the logs right after we do that. Wee! But I'm pretty sure we can get to the get to the uh, the town. <laughs> but it looks like he's following us now. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually, like, if I remember correctly, that's the flower area. Actually, no, it's down here, I think. I think. Yeah, it is down here. Oh, right. Okay, I was like, I, I think it is down here. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. Oh. Wow, okay. <sighs> okay, so we have to meet him, though, because remember, we still have to meet all the villagers. Hey, bro. Hey, but uh, I I'm not a bro. Uh, my name's Kai. Check it out. This is my kiosk. I'm here... You know, whenever. It's like a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off island. Take a look, but like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment. You know? Okay. Hmm, okay. <laughs> okay, so I feel like... Did I? I talked to him, right? Hey, I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Oh, okay. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. 
Gracias. Okay, so that was 17 out of, I feel like, have I made, I think it's Sophia. So let's go in here and meet her. Welcome to Cafe Moretti. What can I get you today? Oh, I'm new here. I just came by to say hello. It does smell great in here though. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. Welcome. I hope you come back soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. It is Sophia. That's what I thought. Well, I said Sophie, but I mean, I guess that's the same thing, right? <laughs> I guess that's the same thing, technically, but you know. Um, okay. Then we need to meet her. I mean, we're in town anyway. <laughs> who is this beautiful creature I see? I, uh, what, uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow, thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean... To be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. All right. So we just met the doctor, and so we 19 out of 22 people in the town. Um, okay, I know we've met him already. Um, let's see. Oh. I don't really know who... Anyone in the cemetery? Oh. Uh, let's see. Any, like, hints on, like... The area ha you haven't been yet, people move around at different times of day, so you might need to visit places a few times to find everyone. Okay, so... I guess we'll just have to figure out... I feel like... Uh... We met him already, though. Hey, have you tried Kim's Butcher Shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. Maybe, okay. Maybe that too. Um, ooh. It's like moving around. Okay, yeah, that's, okay. That's who I haven't met yet. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey Kim, I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh. So what sent you screaming from the city? Did end job? Sociopaths on dating apps? Uh... The job, the dating scene, a little both actually. Let's do the job. I got let go from my job in the city, so I came here for a fresh start. I get it. I came here to try something new too. This is the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we just met Kim. Okay, so now we need two more people. Just trying to figure out who I'm missing. Um... I feel like... That one guy that we saw up here that was like right here right oh him 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 but there was another guy though before wasn't there oh okay um I'm Tara. Hazel Wilde's granddaughter. 
Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes! And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean... Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Wow. Not very nice now, are we? <laughs> okay, so... Let me think about this. So, there was that one guy that, that I saw that, like... Was, was he across the... Like, across the river, though? Maybe it was across here. Cause I, I swear it was there was that one guy. Was I imagining him there? I don't know, maybe I was imagining him there. Ah. Uh, well, we're back at our at our place. Um Okay, well, I guess for now, we'll just, for now, we'll just do, like, this part. <laughs> we'll do the logs until we find, you know, people. Because I, I swear I had, there was that one other guy. Right? Unless I was mistaken. I don't know, maybe I was mistaken. Okay. So we got wood for grandmother, right? Um, okay, let's go over here it's like let's go back into town let's see if maybe we find someone that we haven't met before oh wait dang it oh no okay no we've met that one before um we've met her Okay. I feel like I don't know. Maybe there isn't. Maybe there is. I wish there was like a hint. Um, of some sort. Hey, look, a kitty cat. Here's a kitty. It's a kitty. Kitty, kitty. Love it. Okay. Um, there's whispering? What is that? Something spooky and weird is going on here. Yep. <laughs> okay, so let's see the real quick if maybe... Let me look real quick. So, right here... Um... Maybe he's down here somewhere? Or like, I don't know, maybe... I don't know, we'll just, yeah. Uh, for now, let's just go back to the house and give the grandma her logs and we'll take it from there i guess <laughs> because as you can tell everyone is back in their house and i wish there was a faster way of getting there
leftover almost done, so. Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up. Okay then, we got another one. Okay. <laughs> Let's see now. So in our inventory we have cream mushroom soup, wood, mushroom, toadstool, a peanut, and all that stuff. So, okay, well, there you go. I don't really know. What about... 